Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Super serious. Welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news, the Halloween edition. Mm. <laughs> Let's go around the, the horn here. So what I did last night is I went out uh, when I knew you were getting these costumes and I bought a windowless van. Yep. Off Perfect. Craigslist. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be driving around town tonight. Candy. A stabbing a wagon. Stabbing wagon, yeah. Yeah, the old stabbing wagon. <laughs> we'll see what, what opportunities arise from that. We will. Oh, gosh. We will. Uh, we got some onesies here, kids. If you're subscribed on YouTube, obviously you can see we got some of the finest onesies that Walmart makes. Mm -hmm. Dan is Ted. <clears throat> uh, Tiffany Hart joins us today again. Back by Ooh, lucky. popular demand. <laughs> you're an eagle. You're a freedom eagle. Yeah. It's really nice. And you got the... Uh, and the, the dare. The dare. And the, dare, and the, yeah. the uh, keep off drugs. Great. Yeah. Are you going to drive home? Keep off drugs. Back to brag I'm wearing drive, this? Drive home back like this. Yes. You should. And I'm uh, going to play every song that has eagle in it. I'm going to fly like an eagle. Yeah. Ah. I'm going to drop down and get my eagle on, girl. Ah. What else? What else? Is there another one? What does yeah. that mean? Yeah, is there another eagle uh, song? I don't know. Well, I can find it. We can, There's an American what about the song out there. What, what's, your, what's your stance on the eagles? I hate them. You don't like the eagles? I, know. I don't know. I think my, who's got a, I who's got a drummer that sings? The eagles. Yeah, eagles. that's stupid. Yeah. Don Henley. Get Actually, fucked, Journey, Don Henley. More so than Phil eagles. Collins sang. Ugh. Foo Fighters. Oh. Dave Grohl sings. Yeah, but he wasn't the drummer for Foo Fighters. All that first album, he did all the instruments. He did everything. Well, he did it for every album. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, in the studio version, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so I think you should just listen yourself to wrong. That's always fun. Hotel California, though. Yeah. Yeah. I will. He didn't oh, sing that. Yeah, while he was. he was drumming like Don Henley does. He's a drummer that sang. Yeah, that's not what I said. Don Henley's got a, a voice of an angel, though. It's nice, but just don't drum at the same time. It doesn't make sense to well. me. Those things, there's incongruity there, and my brain can't handle it. You got right. to drum while you at can drum. At any rate, does he sound Eagles, good? Uh, yes. it's Hotel California. Yeah. Yeah, so that's he sounds we're great. We're, we but the Eagles suck. So... You're going to drive like that. I will drive like this. Yes. I'm a character from Fortnite, apparently. Do you know which character? I don't. Let me look, I don't play let me look it up. So I don't know what this the is. The girl one. Either. All I know from oh, our it kid one? is that it's the girl one. Great. So Great. you dressed up as a girl all the day. Well, it was the only thing they had left um, at, at Fortnite's Walmart a video today. game, correct? It is. A very popular video game? It is, yes. For some some kid just won three million dollars playing it like a month ago. Actually. Seventeen, seventeen. No, $17 for the one event, he made three million dollars, right? Uh, no, he won seventeen for the for one the, event. Yeah, for I the thought one it was yearly. God damn, that was crazy. that live broadcast event, right? Too? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. It's fucking ridiculous. But true good for athletes, him. You, you just right? go around and kill yeah. people. True athletes. No, it takes yeah. a lot of athleticism to do that. Jesse, you yeah. are, are you Kung Fu Panda or are you, are you Panda Express? You're a panda. Standard panda? I'm just a standard panda. I'm a glittery panda. Yeah, stand, stand panda. Maybe from. Who are the guys? Dude Perfect? I'll be Dude oh. Perfect Panda. Tall guy, red beard, purple hoser. Is that oh. twins? Am I? Dude Perfect's in overtime. Uh, look, Dude I'm not, Perfect, if you have children, Tiffany, or when you uh, when you have children, mm -hmm. you will be watching Dude Perfect. Like, I was wondering. I was going to say, I don't know what that is. What I was going to say, I don't. Really, I don't really. Thriller on Halloween. Yeah, really? you'll be watching it over and over what is and it? over dudes again. These dudes that just do stunts. Trick shots. Well, they started off doing oh, yeah, trick yeah, shots, yeah. Oh, yeah. and now yeah. they're multi-million. And kids love them. Oh, God. Yeah, because they don't swear, oh, and okay. it's just like perfect. So they only film the perfect shot in, right? They don't <laughs> They don't film, film the like trying the a million times to get in. It's just like a slow motion, like... The ball goes right in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's great. So it's pop very that, satisfying. Pop that champers open. I will. Um, I need a drink. Yeah, it's, oh. I was going to say, it's, it's yeah. uh, day two with Tiffany Hart in the studio. We got to pop open the drink. champers. We need to. Great. Let's continue we, drinking. We took her out for a birthday last night. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. I had a blast. Yeah. Especially when you sang Purple Rain. That's oh, fucking. Oh, yeah. Everyone in the bar was just loving it. Losing Especially when mind. you just went off. Key and just uh, kind of just riff, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, I think it. you were like basically having like an orgasm in the corner on the couch. Yeah, definitely in so that good. video. I yeah. know, like yeah. it looked like I was really, really into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, really whoa, good. Night. Whoa, whoa. The oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Happy Halloween! I didn't know. I didn't it's a know. good thing that like, uh, warm or these uh, costumes were on sale. Yeah, and your computer is. 
good. Well, it's fine. It's uh, Jamie, if you want to throw me some rags, that'd be great. Uh, so we got to do the news here. <laughs> on the computer. From rags to riches. <laughs> uh, we're on the wide here for oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Oops, it's changing on its own now. Oh, boy. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh no. Go. It really is. It's changing on its oh. own. Is that you? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no. It's computer. The computer. It's like glitching it's glitch, out, It's glitching dude. out over here, man. Um, hey, at least you know that bubbly is legit. Alrighty, alrighty. Lambo. It's what happens when Movie you do live magic. television. Movie magic. Live television. Someone still drunk from the night before. Whoopsie <laughs> <Yeah>. ding <laughs> dong. And her name is me. Yeah, we went hard <laughs> last night. We it did. Yeah, we drank a lot of tequila last night. A we had a lot of drinks last night. Um, Actually, we got we ate up all their Patron. She had to use a different type of Patron for us. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you kidding? We got yeah. She I asked love me, she that. goes, hey, are you okay with, I don't know, I guess it was like one of the gold kinds instead of the silver, because yeah. we ran out all the silver, and I was oh, like, I don't care, is it tequila? What I know yeah. is like, at the end of the night, you pull the typical girl move, which is to order a bunch of drinks, and be like, oh, can you drink those? Because I'm, I'm already good. I got a good. shots. I'm already yeah. good. Can I got you a drink shot. Those? And then had you drink Think, them all? No, because yeah. I... I Luckily, I'm a raging alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch yeah, up yeah. with you. What the fuck are you talking about? Because I was drunk, so Kobe. I wanted him to catch up. Right? Oh, he Ooh. won't so ever. I got he shots. won't ever get to that point. And I got two, and then I was like, "You're gonna drink mine." You're playing with fire <laughs> if you're trying to get me on your level. Yeah, dude. To a point of like even saying something that he shouldn't say. Like no. he won't even go. I don't know. Yeah, you're a steel trap. trap. Nailed it. Well, that's jinx. that's the phrase. So. Double oh, jinx. Is that, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Yeah. It absolutely just, uh, is. I thought it was steel like, cage or steel toed <laughs> work boot. <laughs> Either way. No, but Either way. Anyway. But he was say you had a fun time. At the end of the night, I was so drunk that I was trying to dance to a TikTok video that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But just like the kids do. do. Just like up. the kids do. Probably very scared. Yeah, I didn't know. And he was a standing staring at me. Like, I, where's your Uber? Yeah, like, <laughs> please hurry. Did you guys go to one more bar after that? No. no. We closed Shut it down. that fucking place with no, our we, owner. We, we went downstairs and she She's got, rad, yeah. Yeah, we went and downstairs and she got an Uber, and while it was getting there, she did her best to get arrested. Yep. Really? Did you get just arrested? Yelling at people and doing weird shit. Not in a mean she way. She was no, like happy yelling. Wait, are you talking about the owner or her? Her. Oh, oh Tiffany sure. Hart. Like, hey, what's up? Tiffany Hart. Tiffany, yeah, <laughs> Tiffany Hart. Uh, yeah, she tried Tiffany to Hart, know. right next to me. There was yeah. a guy that was dressed like uh, Jon Snow from ah. Game of Thrones. And okay. she was like, are you a Jedi? Are you? Is that a lightsaber? Uh, I'm like, Jesus uh, fucking Christ. Now, were I you in a gray out? I was Shut totally the fuck in up, the gray out. Brown out. Gray it's a gray out because you got out. white where you're totally, yeah. totally in it, fine, totally right? with it, and then you have black where you're totally gone. Gray is where in between white. There's and black. a couple. Yeah, a brownout like, is an intentional or unintentional drop in no. voltage. No, nope. look, brownout's when you shit your pants. This is nope. our thing. No, that's the brown note that makes you shit your pants. Well, are you, look, are you guys familiar with that? Uh, yes, it's like Shitty a musical pants? note, a tone that supposedly will make you evacuate your bowels. Shut up! Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the government literally researched this for a while, trying to do, like see if they could make turn it into a weapon. Yes. What? Is there video of Think them about trying? It. If you That's you what I'm wondering. That? I want to see it. No, they're you, flying a drone. There, you know. Yeah, they're flying a drone with a fucking it. Bose radio on it over the top of the enemy, and everybody's like, "Oh, and fuck!" Just... But everybody would try to pretend that they didn't shit their pants because you don't want to admit that to somebody. So you've got like 600 dudes, and they all smell terrible now, and they're all like, "Did you? Did you shit your pants?" Like, no, man, no. I didn't shit my pants. Yeah. Is this real? Or are you fucking? This is real. Brown note. Look it up. Look, look up the brown note. Uh, oh my meanwhile, gosh. my next song is just gonna be all. Yeah, <laughs> brown we note. We can get into the, the fakest news oh, of the sorry. realest news of the week yeah. here. Yeah, speaking of pieces of shit. <sighs> Ooh, we're leading off with the biggest one. Uh, Abu Baker mm. got uh, schwacked by uh, Delta. Well, shouldn't have talked all that shit, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Baghdadi. Uh, you are uh, no longer with us anymore. Yeah, you are not, not, not going to live anymore. Not going uh, to be here anymore. Uh, so, yeah. We're actually you're gonna do a show with Matt tomorrow about this, right? I am, yes, yes. Um uh Matthew may or may not know some of the people that were uh helping in that operation. I think he, he went to high school with a dog. Oh he did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Who's who's got the higher IQ? Uh dogs are smart. They are, yeah. Yeah. That dog they don't have really thumbs. Dog. By so. the way, everybody right now online is looking for that dog. Oh, everybody sure. wants that breed of animal. Oh, and I guess oh, it's I from really Belgium imagine. or something. Yeah, it's a Belgian Malinois. Mal yeah. 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 Yeah, the so they they're not that hard to find. They're t it's a typical military working dog. With this guy here uh, now being dead, um, Trump's speech was probably one of the greatest things I've he ever seen. He went pretty seen. aggro, yeah. I want to hear, here's the thing, I, and I know like that, that's been chopped up with like Jimmy Kimmel. 
they did a mashup between Obama's speech when they killed bin Laden and mm-hmm. then Trump's speech. Did they? It's amazing. I want to hear the Trump speech when you're saying he would, he would went out whimpering, crying, crying. cowardly Coward, like a dog. Like a dog. Like a dog. Obama. Yeah. What did Obama? I love do? that. Uh, Obama's was more straight laced. Uh, we had him. We got him. And God bless, you know, like the, the well, standard the, bullshit. The right. memes that they've been coming up with online, they've been comparing how Obama, you know, killed Osama bin Laden. Uh-huh. They gave yeah. him a proper, proper burial. And then they have now down below <laughs> Trump going like he fucking went out like a dog, that bitch. I know. Like, and yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. it should be. It's yeah, kind of yeah, what yeah. I want to hear, though. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to hear out of people. Well, Honestly, especially, especially with those motherfuckers. Bastard. Yeah, fuck yeah. this guy. Fuck so him. I mean, not with everyone, but with certain people. Certain yeah, people, I want to yes. hear the how the official they story absolutely. seems to be that the guy was running away through a series of tunnels mm-hmm. in his compound and uh, was wearing an S vest and clacked it off and killed through well, his own daughter. Yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. His three kids with him. Oh, they yes. did die. Yeah. I, thought they, I didn't know if they yeah. did. They tried yeah. saving. The, they saved the rest of them. Okay. He took three with him, thinking they would deter them. Gotcha. And then he killed them all. I think the himself. Trump administration should hire uh, uh, the WWE to be his press secretary. Oh, like great. that should be it. It should be fucking Vince McMahon, Jerry Lawler, and Jim Ross, and Ooh. they they come out together, and and Trump is a stand behind them. Like, and he's got a cut off suit, big ass biceps. Great. How fucking funny? Because none of this is real anymore. No, we live in a fucking fantasy world. Yeah. here. it's all. It's all. You know. Look, the impeachment inquiry just got passed today. A oh couple yeah, hours ago. And two okay. Democrats said no to it. By the way, surprised by that. No, mm-hmm. they're um, in, they're in. They're probably in in districts. swing states. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think too. Um, but so uh, not only is Abu Baker dead, but his the spokesperson for ISIS got clipped, I think, yesterday or the day before nice. as well. So that was going to be his number two. And now today they announced that uh, the professor, Abdullah Kardash, who is a former officer in Saddam's army, is uh, taking over as the head of ISIS. Kardash? Kardash. Oh, keeping up with the Kardashians? Mm. Q-A-R-D-A-S-H. Ah. I'm not sure then how to say it. we are in for a world of hurts. You all right over there, James? Yeah, I'm good. What happened here? Nothing. What? You were making some noises. Uh, you I good? rolled away from the table. Yeah. And now I'm back. Panda. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is a story. A panda Damn outfit. panda. That is the best story wow. you have ever heard. Look for that on Sorry. Uh, Amazon Prime I wasn't going to make fall. a thing about it, and you yeah. m- mentioned it. Well, look. Let's get back to the story because Please. that's what you're saying. Is Do you crazy. think that they killed all those people <laughs> based what upon the saying. intel that they collected? Killed all which people? Killed his number two, and they're finding out all, like, they end up killing these guys because they said they got a lot of intel based upon yeah. killing him yep. and clearing <coughs> out his entire compound. I can't wait for the intel to come out completely because, like, when, when um, the shit came out about bin Laden, there was all kinds of weird porn on his hard drives and stuff. What kind of porn? I don't remember. Goat porn. No, was it really? That's not porn for them. I that's mean, real life. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's just regular mish. That's yeah. straight mish. Straight mish for them. So boring. Straight mish for them. Goat <laughs> butthole. <laughs> yeah. Goat butthole. That's his, straight that's mish. That's his uh, screensaver on his all. iPhone. Yeah. It's just a goat. Yeah. It's a close-up picture of a goat butthole on his iPhone. Oh, God. He just looks at it. He's like, oh, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no big deal. Speaking of uh, girlfriends, the dog that everybody's been saying good boy to that chased this guy down was actually a female. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm okay with this. Okay. Because the dog wasn't driving or voting. Yeah. Sure. So we're good with that. Yeah. There was no suffrage act involved. And what a man told her to do, right? Basically. Correct, yeah. Yeah. As long as that's the case. (laughs) Whatever makes you sleep better at night. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I don't want to see you drive, for example. I already told you I'm not a good driver. Uh, you don't I'm have to. Best, Your fucking you know. gender told me that you're not a good driver. <laughs> yeah. It already worked. Your gender we got it already. Told, told the Asians as well. I actually hate that we are allowed to drive. It'd be nice if we no, didn't you're have just, to, right? I want to be yeah. You're just yeah. fucking lazy, Jesse. You're yeah. like, I don't, I don't want to drive or do stuff, so I don't even want that right. No, I hate that we're like women are trying to get back into the workforce. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you're ruining it. <laughs> you're ruining it. Stop <laughs> making me trying work. To do, <laughs> trying to do nothing yeah. over here. Hello. <laughs> Stupid fuck. Right? I'm trying to Hold my hand in front of my mouth over here. <laughs> <laughs> and so. So now this. Now it's women or can do anything. Yeah. The dog oh, yeah, can wh- do anything. Just wait for all the feminist posts from this stupid shit. It's a dog, bro. Yeah. Calm down. I've actually if you already, talk s- about, I've already seen a couple. I've, yeah, yeah, I've like seen women I, in the military, right? If you I, well, I we yeah, talked it. about yesterday the yeah. little joke that they made oh, yeah. about, hey, no one wants women in special forces. And they're like, oh, we got a special forces female dog. Oh, yes. Nah. That was you. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought it was funny. I saw it the is. one where the dog was listening to Indigo Girls. <laughs> that one's a really good one, too. Yeah, the dog. Uh, Indigo <laughs> Girls. Got it. <laughs> if you, like a real uh, female 
uh, veteran in the special operations community is Shannon Kent, by the way. She died this past year. Yeah. Go, go look her up. Coffee or Die did a good piece on her. Doesn't she oh, have I a book? Oh, yes, that. yes, yes. It is, yeah. Pardon me? Does she have a, doesn't she have a book? Didn't someone write a book about her? Uh, maybe, yeah. I don't I know. If, so. There's probably one in the works if there isn't one already. I, say, I feel like she's she's a someone very, recommended that. Like she, she's responsible for the, the kill or capture of like 600 fucking terrorists mm-hmm. yeah. based on intel she did with the Navy. So. And they're trying to name a ship after her. Battleship, yeah. Yes, battleship. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next up, Biden's gap versus Trump is down to five points. Is he ahead still in this fake poll? Uh, this is not a fake poll. This Come is the on. this is the least biased poll that exists. They're okay, all fake. Now the poll, I'm is not saying Mutin. No, no, no. It's uh, it Rasmussen? is Politico Morning Consult is the name. It's it's that company, and it's been graded by everybody as the least biased of all of all polls. Now they were wrong last time on because p- Trump voters real wrong. It's the it's the Nixon thing. It's the silent majority. The mm-hmm. polling doesn't work with people like that because yeah. they just hang so out. Why have cut. it? Uh, that's, I, I, that's a good question because they make fucking one of these polls. Like they do one poll for a, like a candidate, and it ranges anywhere from thirty to like two hundred thousand dollars for one poll. And they call like that's anywhere from two thousand to four thousand people. One poll through the extrapolations, they make thirty to two hundred two hundred fifty thousand dollars, something like that. Yeah, I mean, here's that's wh- why it exists. It's money. Here's what I go on. I, I, why I, do I, we need I to know it off that? Of rallies, by the way, um, and Trump even at the lowest which you know the impeachment inquiry is going on right now he was at minnesota for that uh, at the target center mm-hmm. that is that <laughs> arena is his biggest staple center it's where the lakers mm-hmm. play essentially it's where the timberwolves play it was fucking packed it was sold out and there was eight thousand people in the streets yeah. that you're not even doing that for a full convention right because no. there, there's yeah. one coming up here at charlotte and they're using where the charlotte hornets play he's already selling these things out for yeah. fucking minnesota I mean the short the Charlotte Hornets arena probably holds what eighteen to twenty thousand. Eighteen to twenty, yeah. So it's like Target max, Center yeah. somewhere around there, and it's like, dude, <laughs> he's already doing that now. We're a, a year away from the election. Yeah. Whereas most of these fucks, I'm not. I'm not giving credibility to the poll numbers itself on the individual matchup. It's the trend that should be very concerning for the left, because consistently on on this particular poll, which again is the least biased, it's pro it's definitely wrong because it was wrong last time, mm-hmm. but. Biden was up 11 points, um, and Sanders was up 10 in June of this year. And now, now Biden's up five, and Sanders is within the margin of error. And the really interesting thing about this is that uh, the undecided number, the mm-hmm. percentage of undecideds has not changed, which means people are leaving the Sanders camp and the Biden camp and going over to the Trump camp, which seems weird to me. What, have, what has happened recently for them to do that, though? Uh, Biden Biden is dead. Yeah. yeah. Bernie uh, Sanders also dead. He's almost out of money as well. So he's done a nine Heart million. attack. Biden's beefing. Well, I know they always hit up Sanders in his age, but they also do the same thing with Biden. So yeah, so so Biden or, Well, uh, Sanders had a heart attack. Yeah. Sanders had an actual surgery. heart attack was in the hospital. And, and then it's like health's been a major off. issue. Yeah. yeah. Biden, on the other hand, he's down to nine million dollars. And, and I don't think this Ukraine thing helped. No, because okay. you know, now that it's coming out that his son is making anywhere from fifty to eighty grand a month for the last five years working for the Ukraine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his in gas and oil for a gas and oil company. This is why Would you let your son do that if you were the vice president of the United States? I would, yeah. And I would take the money from him, send him to his room. <laughs> He's <laughs> fucked you're you, grounded. kid. He's a fifty yeah, year old man. He, no, you can still do that. You, you can, can send your kid to your room. Kid. If you're the fucking vice president of the United States, you can send your kid to your room. Well, here's why the not? hilarious thing. They keep calling him a kid. He's fifty. Like, yeah. hey, man, he's past this is kid. This is why it's a bad idea for people to be attacking Trump in general, because two reasons. One, he's fucking Teflon. It doesn't matter what you attack him with. It just slides right off his back because he doesn't care. Yeah. What makes attacks like that work is when people uh, get pressured by outside folks to either change or to leave the campaign or to quit their job or whatever it is. He doesn't give a shit. Mm-hmm. So you can't affect him like that. It's like a comedian saying something offensive like Bill Burr. Bill Burr's career will never go away. Because he'll say whatever the fuck he wants, and if somebody's like, "Oh, what the fuck?" you're like, "Shut the fuck up." Yeah, yeah. doesn't apologize. Yeah, doesn't but bow the down. left will fucking do this. They will cannibalize their own people, and their candidates will fucking leave. That's why Obama came out this week and said this cancel culture and fucking being offended about everything needs to go away. 
Like he's straight up called people out. And he the reason is because well, there's two reasons. One is probably because he's gonna get lit up soon about something. That'd be my guess. Yeah, he's trying to get out ahead <laughs> he's of all, it. Hey, just preemptively. Listen, yeah. And stop he's getting not, offended by everything. Yeah. He's not a dumb guy. He know he can see that the fucking Democratic Party is eating their own again as they always do, and now it's become amplified because everybody's so offended. Like with these microaggressions, like one little thing and your fucking career's over. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. So yeah. he, I think he gets it from that perspective, but the right doesn't really do that. No. And uh, look, I think this trend is only going to continue until Hillary jumps in. Mm. I, I don't look, see it. You really Bill think so? Clinton said today he wasn't <laughs> sure. And it's like, I think she's, they're just up trying, too. They're, they're doing what Ashton Kutcher does. They're just trying to stay a little relevant. They're doing little bits here to stay relevant so they can keep making money. That's what I was wondering. That's it. Find out. Possibly. I, look, and I think Chelsea is going to get Hillary into politics really real likes. soon. I do too. Money, money and power, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Chelsea I think, I think I think they're trying to set the stage for Chelsea, honestly. I don't think it's about Hillary. Ugh. That'd be a smart move, though, to put her in there instead of tra- Hillary. I'll fucking to get fall asleep she is for eight snoozy years. She's snoozing yeah. Stan. I mean, they all are, but. Yeah. True. Well, I don't know. She but may actually. But at least actually, they have the other ones have some scandal. Would she's, you have fucked Bill in his prime? Yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah, dude. Know. Depends. Stop oh. trying to pressure her, Jesse. Like, yeah, you would have. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I'm, no, totally I'm answering would. for myself. I'm a fucking panda. Like, I'm not trying Nobody to think asked how he me anything. Looked or an acted. I don't know. I think he'd be too playboyish for me. You don't remember that picture of him and Al Gore? Shorty shorts. Yeah. Look like bikini bottoms. Yeah. White thighs. Hairy. You know who I probably do you lo- would. Do you like the shorty shorts Bush. better than the, the Bush. gray Bush. sweatpants? Bush. I would have probably. Better than the what? The gray sweatpants. You like so you like the shorty oh. shorts. The shorty shorts. <coughs> gray sweatpants. It's gray sweatpants season now. It is. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm talking about? No, what's the that? mushroom stamp? Oh, where you can see the little gray yeah. sweatpants and, and no uh, the little head of the penis. No and underoos, somehow, yeah. for some reason, every Bopping. guy who wears gray sweatpants is constantly doing an exercise or a movement where their yeah, junk is flopping around. Flopping so you always yeah. see it. It's yeah, almost like it. a girl in a little cut shirt bending over constantly to pick shit up off the ground. Yeah, you're like titties. Look at my titties. Yeah. Right. Look at my titties. And you look at them, and they're like, "Hey, eyes up here." Don't look at my titties. And I'm like, "No, I'm I'm looking at your tits." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't stop me. There's nothing illegal about staring right at a nipple. You All saying day. that in a bear costume. There's something about it. Well, it's, it's getting re- I do it from my van. Creepy, dude. Yeah. I pull up in my windowless van, There's roll down the window, and I just look over to the side, and I'm like, hey. Titties. <laughs> 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 it's like, and I what's drive happening? away, and there's nothing illegal about that. No, there isn't. It's all perfectly legal. I've looked in the Bible. It's it's good there, too. So yeah, yeah. You know I'm those people doing. who have fetishes with... Um, Bears? Characters like people who dress oh, furries. up. Oh, furries! Yeah. yeah, I have a feeling there is someone out there right now who's just getting a big old furry boner. Oh, I hope so. Look at that day we were talking about last night. If you can think it, there's rule, people making rule thirty four. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, it's rule thirty four of the internet. That's like some four yeah. chan bullshit from back okay, in the day. But yeah. if you can think of it, it porn of it exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. And there are Absolutely. hundreds of we thousands of people. Now we're talking about butthole punching too. Remember that? Butthole punching last night. Like the weirdest thing that I've ever seen, and you know about this. Mm. It's a movie called Crash, not the Oscar winning movie, but the it, it was like in the mid nineties, and it was a it was like a a documentary about people who get into car wrecks because it sexually excites them. Like they intentionally get into car wrecks yep. because it makes them come. To me, what? like, forget whole, about butt oh, yeah. stuff See, or strap-ons yeah, yeah. or dressing up. That Strangle is the weirdest thing. thing. I've, uh, like, that's even that's with that's Russell Brand having somebody run over his dick in a wheelchair. Yeah. You that's go, yeah. weird, but it still involves point. your dick. Right. It involves a sex organ. Getting hit by another car does not involve that. Are they but... playing with themselves while they're getting hit no. by another car? No. Have yeah. you seen it? Go, uh, yes. Go yes. watch I, the documentary. It. Like, it's some people do that kind of stuff, but some of them are just like, oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, some people are... Adrenaline. Now you're junkies. saying it, though. I get it. I just never thought of it. That uh, the adrenaline of it. Yeah, uh, I just get a new car, so let's uh, look, keep it away from that. I told you guys, <laughs> I could go down any any rabbit. Hole I'm really into plane wise. crashes. A po- All plane I know crash is I just keep yeah. thinking of Ross last night. <laughs> the oh, whole yeah. night yeah. long. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, all night long. Yeah, yeah, the stranglebation ghost. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love I love thinking about Stranglebation Ghosts. Oh, Halloween. is that the one you talked about on RPR? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's uh, coming up on uh, tonight's episode. Speaking of ghosts, we got a product called Ghostbed.com forward slash Drinky Bros that we love around here. <laughs> Thirty six months, pay as you go program, no interest. Fuck you, mom and dad. I can buy my own bed. Thirty eight bucks a month. You dumb bitches. Um, 
But say your parents don't buy you a mattress. That's a you weird flex on, your, on your parents, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you, you call them up. You haven't talked to them in, like, four years. They're like, hey, got my own bed, you fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. Just like hang that. the phone up. <laughs> How do you feel about that, mom and dad? I, I Fuck like, you. I like that. Fuck you. Don't I won't call do me what anymore. you tell me. Smack my bitch up. Uh, you can smack your bitch up on a ghost bed. <laughs> they got that uh, Lux right now with the dookie cover. Uh, Ghost Lux with the Duke cover? Well, what are we calling mm. it? It's the uh, mattress protector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cum cover. Mattress we call it cum oh, cover. Cum yeah. cover, yeah. Cum cover. Oh, yeah. Yes. Cum cover, Duke but it'll cover. But co- it'll cover for Duke as well, for sure. Duke, That's Duke, usually what Duke. it handles, right? Yeah. I would think so. I, I would mean, think well, Duke or... People are probably coming on their mattress more than they're shitting on. Or Irwin. I hope. Mm-hmm. Duke yeah. or Irwin. Urine. Um, nope. Go test it out. Buy nope. a cover. You might, you might get one for free with a bundle package. Uh, right now, they've got some Halloween deals that are <laughs> scary. Uh, Dave Coulier was also the guy who has gone down in a theater in the Alanis Morissette song, You Ought to Know. Maybe they fucked Tiffany on a ghost knows bed. Who that is. Tiffany now knows I do. now, finally. <laughs> uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros today if you're military or a first responder. You get 15% off if you're ever of everything in the store if you're a regular fucking human like Yessie and I. You spin that fucking wheel, dude. It's like being on Pat Sajak's lap. I really think we need to make uh, a porn of Jared on a ghost bed. Which I, I've, we've been talking with like him with the that. logo very visible the whole time. He did shoot a porn on the cruise. It is did he? <laughs> he's working about him it. personally. Yeah, yeah. With that gal that we yeah. showed you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it, we're okay. working on getting that out to the internet, but you've I got know to that file he's working. It. Is you he working on it. another one too? He wants to direct porn full time. Well, he wants to direct his ex. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Which important. is look, we all that's have goals. probably not hard. Yeah. Ah, uh, is it? What do you mean to know. direct a porn or the penis? Hey, fucker! Hey, fucker, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucker, good. Hey, All right, can, good. You, you did it. You can really ruin a porn. <laughs> like, I'm did you imagine? Sure. Yeah, that's true, huh? You know what I mean? But like, hey, babe, do that thing that you do to me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah just like that. Like, yeah. There was yeah, one. You could ruin it. Huh? I saw one a long, long time ago that was it wasn't cut properly. Tell him to start talking about weird stuff. Yeah, I saw one that wasn't edited properly. Yeah. Oh, see, that's terrible. No. And it there was a gap, and like the the guy, he had run around to come on her tits. And the, and the director was like, it was like a British guy. And he's like, okay, okay, stop. You know, because you came too early from the last one. So we'll, we'll work your way up and then we'll go in for that next shot. And then it, boom, he came in and he was fucking coming on her tits. And you're just well, you like, know what, too? Angles. Yes. If, you, yeah. if, you, if you're looking at a super weird angle that's really uncomfortable and you no longer see mm-hmm. what you want to see. And there's a lot of times with angles, I'll switch to the next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, that has wearing, nothing to do with, with a ghost bed. Are but. you wearing an eagle costume? Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just got here. Are you kidding me? You didn't know it was a fucking eagle? No, we talked about it for 10 minutes. Oh, all right, cool, <laughs> cool. Uh, next up, the Washington <laughs> Nationals, or as uh, Tiffany Hart's mom would like to say, the Washington, Washington. Nationals, World Series champs. Uh, Bryce Harper is hating his entire life right now. He's punching the air right now. And, uh, and getting dragged on Twitter. It's hilarious. I will say this. This was the first city that hasn't burned fuck. down their city after winning a World Series. I'm guessing uh, that... Philly will probably burn down Philly. Philly fans? Maybe. Because they paid $330 million for Bryce Harper didn't even to make hit the playoffs. And Philly loves to burn down their own shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. for whatever reason. Understand. For it doesn't anything. Matter, yeah. yeah, anything. Uh, Philly fans are brutal. Sure. Like, if you go, have you been to games with Philly fans before? Yeah. It's it's rough. Pretty much every stadium or arena Is there has a jail Is it fun or aggressive? It. Uh, it can be both. That's what I was wondering. Like, would you I think it's, if you were there I think the it's fun. Team? Yes, uh, only the well. We went to the new stadium, right? You wore a Falcons jersey, but it was a Michael well, Vick jersey. I wore a, a Eagles jersey, but it was Our Michael Eagles Vick because yeah, I was yeah. rooting for the Falcons. Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. It was a signed Michael Vick jersey, three X. Zoom when I could find that, but uh, they were nice enough because I think the new stadium is expensive, mm-hmm. so like you can't get in. Okay. Like the elements now out, where it's sure. just like, hey, like the vet, you could show up and throw fucking car batteries on the field. Yeah. This, they're kind of like, yeah. Somebody did that, actually. That's they a did. real story. They threw a Somebody car threw battery. a fucking car battery. Into because they the were outfit. so angry. Yeah. They, Who just keeps a car battery in a backpack or purse? And well, just um, to how chuck do, you, one how do you get one through security is the real question. Well, obviously shitty security. Well, yeah. uh, this is the uh, third title for DC in the last two years, by the way, if you count the uh, WNBA. I don't. So um, does anybody? Won't, no, no one it's gives a, a shit sport, about that. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. women can do everything except for play basketball and vote. So true. <sighs> that is a basketball. brutal sport to watch. It, it's Did the you? worst. You're tall. Yeah, 
I actually like. I don't even like watching. I like yeah. watching women like women's basketball. softball and shit like that. That's Softball's entertaining. Softball's awesome. Soccer was entertaining. Like back in the day when the famous chicks were playing. Oh yeah, uh, Jenny, Jenny Finch. Finch. Yeah, like yeah. that was super entertaining. Yeah. But volleyball. No, at no point. Yeah, volleyball is good too. At no point has women's basketball ever been entertaining for anybody. Well, the problem was with the softball; they nixed it from the Olympics, which yeah. is bullshit. Did and they really? Yeah, and they with added all the other break sports they... now. Excuse and me. Wind yep. tunnel and wind bullshit, tunnel. Yeah. yeah, and gaming probably. Soon. Wind tunneling. That's pretty. Fucking Gaming's cool. coming cool. Yeah, Wait, are coming soon. Is it really? I think so. If yeah. I see fucking. We were Some talking... slumped over white kid <laughs> playing fucking video games with a gold medal around his neck. I'm going to put that net metal around my neck. And... Oh, <laughs> my. Oh, all right. Strang out. We were talking about on the other show that uh, parents are now getting tutors for gaming. Video games. It's being offered in colleges because yeah. of that so motherfucker there... that won. No way. <laughs> that mu- yeah. You, dude, you like won it's... 17 million. In is there going to be a Then parents game. start fucking thinking like, hey, is there gonna I'm going to be... get my kid to get all this. He yeah. plays already. Is there going to well be, a... there gonna be a blind side for for esports now oh, like Just people are gonna start stealing chinese kids yeah take an asian man like hey is that uh grab an asian <laughs> good yeah. rock uh <laughs> next up the irishman which is the new movie nice <laughs> nice turn around there ross with the champers in your mouth thank you mm-hmm. lukebelair.com we're good <laughs> at bros. alcohol we're the best we're at good it. at alcohol in the middle of the day uh we'll almost assuredly <laughs> Win an Academy Award. I agree with that statement, um, but it only opened in half of United States theaters. This is a this is a wild one to me. It's a three it's, hour plus movie. They spent one hundred and twenty million dollars. Netflix on the budget. Netflix did. made it. It is Pacino, De Niro. Yeah, they got fucking Pesci to come back. Yep, and Pesci, Pesci hasn't acted in forever. Nor does he mm-hmm. want to. No, I didn't think he wanted to do this. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, but he had to. And there's a bunch Scorsese. of other people in this as this well. Could be Scorsese's last movie. Could be yeah. Everybody says this is going to be up for best picture. The movie is great. The reviews are already in. There's a re- there's a re- so typically movies of this size released in three thousand plus theaters. Uh, this one probably four thousand due to the runtime is three and a half hours, mm-hmm. maybe a, a little time. less. Yeah. Long time. Um, every critic who has seen it though has said you should definitely go see this in the theaters. It's worth it. Really? Yep. But <clears throat> the the side of me. That, that sees Netflix. As soon as I see that symbol, mm-hmm. I'm like, nope, going to watch this with my lady in bed. Yeah, but I, they didn't really care if people went to see it, right? So they're just doing that so they can get nominated? Yes, because you, you have to, to go to theaters to get nominated theaters. for the Oscars. So you can't just be on Netflix and get nominated. So a lot of these things How many go, theaters do you have to be in? I, One? It's, it's limited release. Yeah, but limited. Uh, yeah, you could, so <coughs> New York and L.A. would work. Yeah. So why don't they just be out. dicks about it and release it in one theater for one day? A lot of movies have done that. In, in the past. Because fuck this. Well, that's have a they stupid, won award stall? That's a really yeah, dumb rule. Wow. So the last one was uh, Daniel Day-Lewis movie. Um, it was the fucking Haberdasher, the Needler. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> they put that out in New York and L.A. Yep. Right before. <laughs> what? That's what a Haberdasher is. Yeah, but it's not called. It's not called. No, that. it's not called that. It's not oh. called the Needlist, um, okay. but it should be. Like the thread or something. Uh, either way, they put it out in New York and L.A., <laughs> Because the, the, the cutoff date is December 31st. Phantom Thread. That's it. I was super close. The yeah. Needler, yeah. The Needler. The Needler, right the needler on the sounds money. like a really shitty Batman. Right on the money. <laughs> He's the Needler. Oh, the Needler. <laughs> he shows up and sews your fucking shoes together Asshole or something. Yeah. It sounds like a really shitty Marvel take movie. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> right? All right. The yeah. Needler, yeah. The needler. He's the Needler, but it's, like a, it's, it's not actual needles. He just like needles you with fucking annoying comments all the time. Uh, uh, like, why do they call him the needler? Like, well, he, it's like nobody knows what needling means anymore, so you have to explain the whole thing. And it's like an hour and a half into the movie, you're like, you know what? Fuck this. Yeah, the guy hasn't even done anything yet. We're leaving. He's needling. He's needling. Um, anyways, <laughs> but anyways, that that, w- that that's what they typically do to try to get it in. The cutoff date is December thirty first, and then they get it in. I, I think you're past the point of no return now with this shit, mm-hmm. and especially with uh, Apple having original programming now. This mm-hmm. is the new norm. Amazon's doing it as well with movies. Um, you know, you're, they're going to have to change the rules eventually of like, all right, where did the movie come out, when, why, and how? I just finished watching the Dolomite movie. Um, oh, yeah. With Eddie Murphy. Is it good? The same thing. They put that out in like 200 it theaters. It was really good. Fucking amazing. Really good. Is Murphy, it serious or a comedy Dolomite? Both. Like, Dolomite is both. not. It, yeah, you know what it reminds well, me Dolomite of? Dolomite was serious in its day, right? No. It's become, like, campy. No? Well, the, the movie was campy, was campy. unintentionally because they shot it on their own. Yeah. But uh, in a fun way, mm-hmm. Black Dynamite was the spoof off of that. Like, they used that as an example. 
But um, Eddie Murphy, after watching that, should be nominated. And I wonder... He's not going to because it's on... Or you I said it came out? No, it did come out in theaters, theaters. yeah. Okay, yeah. And, <laughs> and I would like that. to see him nominated. And it was really fucking... It was funny and dramatic. And you root for this guy. And it's a great film if you haven't watched it. It is on Netflix, so you don't have to go to the movies to see it. Um, you got to change the rules eventually. This is what it is. We're here now. We're streaming everything. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the only movies that are making a fuck ton of money in theaters are Batman and shit like that. Really? So. I thought horror films did really well. They do. I was but say, they're, they're not going to be nominated for anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. So do you think, so they just do these films sometimes just for nominations? There are some who yeah. just out of curiosity, because you guys are more into that side who of things. Who used to do that? Ugh, Always just a get a them. nomination. A lot of them. Weinstein. Weinstein was the classic example. Yeah, really? so he, yeah, anything he championed, it was he wanted to get to the Oscars, and he got people there. And that's how he was fucking these girls. Yeah. So he, he would, would say, network Look, his way into I will it. get you a, I will get, get you an Oscar. So no matter what you do, this was, and he was famous for this, no matter what you do in your life, mm-hmm. you will be an Oscar-winning actress. How important is that to you? Yeah. Like that Shakespeare is a, in Love, if you think about that movie, wasn't shitty. that fucking good, dude? Mm-hmm. If you go and watch one. it right now, you'll be like, but how, dude, but he, part of the Oscars is sort of like a publicity. That's what, is it political too? 70, oh yeah, 75% and, uh, and percent of his politics, yeah. Popularity, so if he goes to all the parties, if he donates money to things, if he's there all the time, you will, he had a formula okay. to get an Oscar, So right? he had the connections, he knew exactly he what to do. He did the exact right thing. Wow. I'll um, tell you a crazy story. I had story. no idea. It was I'll, that in I've got a crazier story. So you've got like 3,500 members of the Academy who vote on the Academy Awards, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, some of these people are retired. It's like people from like, you know, fucking Gone with the Wind who were still out there. They're like 97, living in a retirement home in Florida, right? Mm-hmm. They get a vote. You, we get screeners every single year. We get to vote on the Screen Actors Guild Awards. We don't vote on the Oscars, actually. But we get all the screeners, so we get to see them. Now, for the Academy members, he would go down and he would find all these fucking old people and then have an assistant deliver the movies to them, but only Weinstein's movies. So he would always get these fucking weird people in the Academy from like 50 years ago to vote. Like he knew strategically how to do it. He was a 100% politician and he was the best in the business. And I know what you're thinking. Weinstein, such a great guy. Like I don't see him. Do you know what I mean? Like (laughs) I know you're thinking like I don't see him doing something (laughs) like that. Ever. But yeah, lo and behold, (laughs) The yeah. great guy, Weinstein. <laughs> weird, right? Doing some weird yeah. shit. That's so crazy, though. Yeah. Six like, of these voters were in an old folks' home in Florida, and they were like, yeah, assist- an assistant from Miramax came and showed up, sat with us, put the movie in the fucking VCR, and watched the entire thing with us, and then, you know, we you voted. Found a loophole. My last Oscars that I was, like, in the fantasy world still of, like, the best actor wins mm-hmm. was the Birdman, ah, Eddie Michael Redmayne Keaton. one. Michael Keaton. Yeah. So Michael Keaton's the shit. And he was so good in that the movie. And, it was like and Redmayne yeah. won for the, the tranny thing? No. Uh, was Hawkins. it the tranny one or Hawkins? Stephen Hawking. Stop. Oh, God, that movie was terrible. Yeah. He sat in a wheelchair the whole movie. Like, come on, man. That's lazy. You know? Lazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, Stephen Did Hawking was that a lazy guy, work? man. Yeah, exactly. Mentally. No, he sat in that wheelchair that whole time. Yeah. You couldn't stand up once? Not when I once. Piece of shit. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Redmayne. So Redmayne went around like a little <laughs> but fucker. But he was like super <clears throat> likable. Keaton didn't do any of the parties or whatever. But Redmayne was everywhere doing every interview, every press thing. And you're just like, that motherfucker. Michael Keaton is one of those actors that keeps getting better as he gets older. And I don't, True. I think it's a crazy. lot of guys lose their edge. But he's getting better. And yeah. funnier. And Kevin Costner like, is getting better. Like if you haven't seen We talk about it all the time. If you haven't seen Yellowstone... Like, he's becoming a more, like, less campy, more grizzled character that he should have been this whole goddamn time. Daddy. To be you need to go through some shit to, <laughs> to do some shit. So, what the fuck has mm-hmm. Kevin that Costner really been through? Smart. Well, Costner's had many, many oh. ups and downs. Jesus I mean, he's Christ. got a big dick and he's rich. So, what the fuck? How do you know? Because he hangs dong. Oh. He, you, you haven't heard this. He exposes he, dong. He always tries to hang dong in fucking movies, and it always eight movies cut. his dick they has been cut like, out of. They always are like, why can't we not have a dick scene? And eight, they're like, no. Eight times his dick has been cut out of a movie. What he's the like, fuck? He's no like, way. do you, do you remember? Do you remember Mad Men? Where uh, I'm surprised he didn't go into porn then. Don's last wife on Mad Men spoke French. Like she speaks French. She's on SEAL team now, by the way. Oh really? Yeah. She's like the the, CIA, the CIA uh, officer. Anyways. um 
they always tried to work the fact that she spoke French into the show somehow. Uh-huh. Like, super annoying. Like, get the fuck out of it. No one cares that you speak French. Like, that stupid song she sang that one time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So fucking stupid. I liked it. Oh, look, I speak French. Check and it I out. Let's like insert it. it into the show. It makes it better. No, it doesn't. It makes it stupid. Right. And that's what it. this is. That's what Kevin Costner's like, hey, no big deal, but if you want to put my dick in the show, it'll be fine. Come on now. <laughs> well, He's he just does, trying he to advertise it. that hammer, son, and I don't so blame funny. him. I don't yeah. blame he did him. it, it for there. two massage therapists, right? Uh, Many... Once. Yeah, he got popped at a, okay. at a Four Seasons over in uh, England. Trying Good for to, him. Trying to, trying to uh, get, his let's say... get his baguette buttered, you know what I mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's Look. not a phrase that people say. Just made it up. Go let's ahead. Like hogwashed. It. I like it. I like it. Let's send him a bunch of gray sweatpants. We should. Or we can send him some Felix Gray glasses. That is the best segue you'll ever hear. Really if you were watching on YouTube and subscribe to Drinking Bros Podcast, Ooh. Yessie, uh, Miss uh, Tiffany, be, and I just uh, want to be like Tiffany. D'Anthony are wearing the Felix Gray glasses. So smart. D'Anthony, why are these glasses so important? Uh, <laughs> the, it blocks blue light, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like all your devices that you're on all the time, there's something, I don't know what it is. Um, you actually think it's conspiracy theory. I do. Do you? That, uh, yep. That our devices, our TVs, mm-hmm. our computers, our, our uh, mobile phones have are this keeping blue light us up to, to keep us shit. awake more and right? to buy shit, more that. advertising. Yeah, I think, uh, I think if fucking Pepsi <clears throat> could put a goddamn LED of a Pepsi sign behind my eyelids, they would. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. My lashes are hitting me. Yeah, they oh, are. Yeah, some uh, big I love lashes these things. On though, they got the costume on there. They look really. Well, my eyes look really strained. Good on you. Yeah, the first From thing you said when you came into the studio is you were like, "Yo, what the fuck are these glasses?" And I was like, "It's Felix Gray." Well, well you've got your own pair, I and have, your pair are have. I the, hate the pair that I have because they're very reflective, and they're the, the lens are a little bit yellow tint. So yeah. when yeah, I tried yeah. these, I was like, "Wow, these are yeah." And there's great. no color. It just looks like regular glasses. Yeah, yeah. Not like you can't tell. They're great. You get free shipping. Buy buy these Felix Gray glasses. It's Felix Gray Four slash drinking bros. Felix Gray glasses.com forward slash drinking bros. Once again, free shipping. Uh, if you need prescription, they will do that to you for, for an extra 20 bucks. But again, average Americans spend 11 hours in front of the screen. I get why you wear them all the time. And yeah. they, then they came on as a sponsor and it was like your fucking dream come true. Yeah. So. It's nice. Then we hung out with them, and they were really fun guys. The best. We hung yeah. out with them in New York and partied. So I win, love win. these guys. If That's you awesome. Love, these, when you love, love this company. And love yeah, them. and they're yeah, really and they're cool. just fucking cool, yeah. man. Go to FelixGreatGlasses.com forward slash Drinking Bros today. Um, <coughs> next up, hey, Anthony. Kevin Costner's birthday is January eighteenth. So if anybody wants to send him gray sweatpants, <laughs> I will. We're going to be seeing him next year, by the way. What? You think we can get him on the show? I don't Kevin see Costner? why not. Yes, why? the For three what? of us are going to the Field of Dreams game. Yeah, um, he'll be there to see the Yankees oh, play. Yeah. So he'll be there. And uh, Jesse's, you know, Jesse's acting teacher was Dwyer Brown, the dad. The dad at the end of the movie that he plays catch with. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So for <laughs> claim to fame, that's why I'm so good. I got. I was taught by the best. <laughs> <laughs> I got him to send her a video. I bought it off of camera. Oh, it was so creepy. What? Yeah. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, it's awesome if you Because he to, actually uh, like left his wife for a girl in my class, acting class. And so the <laughs> video <laughs> Does she look exactly like you too? No, you like but the life? first thing I thought was like I'm so glad Why not me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and <laughs> he was hot. Yeah. He's a daddy for sure. But he sent th- he had him make this cameo that was really creepy. Yeah. I heard you're all grown up now or something. Yeah, no, yeah. That's a little, I wrote that it myself. creepy. I, I right? Wrote it, yeah. Yeah. So it really creeped me out, but I thought it was kind of funny. Cause it's awesome. Dwyer Brown is so good. He's just Dwyer Brown. He's Great cool. name, though. I'm sure well, you we'll see him to, there. I'm sure if you ask to see Kevin Costner's dong, he would probably talk to you guys. It's, he's got a hammer on him. You go, I mean? go look at Mr. Do you think Mr. that's Brooks? our in? Just go right up to him and say, just hey. Like, hey, I've heard you got a big dick. And then he, he, I'm sure he will talk get, about let's it. Let's get t-shirts made. Kevin Costner, show me your dick. Ah, uh, and we'll wear them to the fucking game. No, it's like Kcos, Kcos Don, Kcos Don. Question that mark, question mark eight, and the number eight on the back. Yeah, I feel like yep, that eight would just movies. bring them right into you. Same here. V line. Eight movies, eight inches. Uh, Kcos is doing his shit. We'll just bring massage tables. Be like, uh, right hey. out to the field, <laughs> and so. then we'll we'll put them right you in the cornfields. Yep. You guys can disappear right into the cornfields and give them a massage. Uh, next up, shit is popping off in Mexico. Mexican soldiers attempted to arrest the son of El Chapo last week. Yep. That is one of the craziest fucking things I've ever seen. It's wild as fuck. I mean, they're trying to extradite him to the U.S. as well. Yeah. Like, right. like they did with his dad. So Mexican sol- soldiers showed up to arrest the guy. 
huge gunfight with all the cartel guys. Mm -hmm. They finally get the son and his name. I can't even pronounce it. Ovidio. Ovidio, I guess. Uh, O-V-I-D-I-O. Yeah. So Uh they had him in custody, and there was still a raging gunfight going on. So they hand him a phone and be like, hey, the cartel guys are on the phone. Tell them to stop. And he's like, all right, cool. Hey, I've been captured. You guys can stop. But it was his brother on the other end of the phone, his other brother. Yeah. And he was like, fuck you. I'm not stopping. So they went to, not only did they continue the gunfight, it's from what I'm reading, they surrounded this uh, this housing development where all the military people's families live and started, they like cordoned off the place and lit a bunch of buses on fire and were firing 50 cal into the fucking thing. And they're like, Fuck. hey, they're like, you can let him go or we're going to kill all your families. And they let him go. Really? Yep. Wow. God damn it, man. I El miss Chapo that type of shit. rise again. Yeah. I kind of want him out. When he went to jail, it was a little sad. Well, he's a tiny man. He can probably sleep, slip out. He can't. He's Some in. Are, he's here. He's in America now. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's broken out of jail a couple times. Yeah, but this is. <laughs> I think he's in Rikers or some bullshit. I can't like. believe we've talked about this before, but I can't believe they didn't do um, that. Like the movie SWAT. Remember that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Where the guy's like, "I'll give two hundred million dollars. Anybody can get me out of the fucking yeah, same million here, yeah. dollars, or whatever." Yeah. Like this guy's worth. Twenty something billion, billion I think. dollars. Yeah. So you're surprised he hasn't done that yet? Yeah. yeah like why yeah, not I say I'll give a billion dollars to any organization that can get me the fuck out Jeez. of here? Jeez. I would. I would that's I the would first too. thing I would do. What Same. the fuck is he waiting for? Yeah. What does he? What does he give a shit? Yeah. Uh, I just think it's weird that Sean Penn was the cause of all of this. For yeah. Real. Sean Penn. Yeah. Dead serious. Sean Penn was the cause of all of this. If he doesn't go down there, because that's how they tracked El Chapo. Really. Uh, yeah. He went down uh, to get the life rights. He was going to make a movie with him or whatever. Hubris. And he said. Um, I was wondering if they'd done any movie, a movie yet or anything. Well, here's the thing. So this this chick that he was banging, mm-hmm. uh, El Chapo, was like, hey, I'll give you the life rights to this movie. Do you know anybody who can make it whatever? And she was like, yeah, I think I can get it. To, she got it to Sean Penn. Sean Penn, it turns out, was was trying to do a, an article on him for Rolling Stone magazine, not the movie Sean itself. Sean Penn was yeah. ba- banging the girl, by the way. The girl and, and, wasn't. And fucking the girl as well. Oh, yeah. the girl wasn't banging El Chapo. But yeah, El she Chapo was fucking El Chapo. To. Watch the documentary. So he was passing her around. Yes. And then he, uh, Sean Penn and ends up fucking her because, you know, that Why was not? part of the deal. Yeah. And uh, what happened was that photo that they took, he claimed, Sean Penn claimed that Rolling Stone needed a photo to prove that this was real for him to go ahead with his story. So he asked for one photo, and they were able to track where he was due to something in the background of this photo. Probably geolocation. Damn. Yeah. You think Sean Penn has a hit out for him now? They think that he set him up or something? He's still alive. I don't understand why I'm he's not There's a lot like, of reasons why Sean Penn should not be alive. Yeah. Like his personality is the number one cause. His leathery skin. No, yeah. I don't care about that. Um, what I care about is that I he's a giant piece of shit. Oh, okay. He fucks hard, though. What? I'm sorry? Didn't How he tie Madonna to a chair for like three days? Yeah. yeah but you can do that. You can do that in the 80s. Do that. Oh, yeah. Madonna, t- oh. I was... He punched, he knocked her out, he knocked mm-hmm. out some paparazzi. Like, you name it. He Sean fucked Penn's up on. Robin Wright for a while, too. Didn't he? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, but that, that was back in the day when you can, like. Hit a woman. When you could get away. <laughs> when a wo- <laughs> back in the day, my day women could take a punch. Yeah. 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 Not like these pussies today. <laughs> I used Hell to give yeah. her a rap on the beak, you know, when she got out of line. Boom. 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 Rap on rap the beak. On the beak. Uh, speaking of shit popping off, protect your digital butthole with expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Use that shit in the military. Use yeah, what? you know you know how digital when you're on. Buttholes? You know, you know how when you're uh, on your computer. VPNs. When yes, we do. You on do your, mm-hmm. on your work computer. You can't watch porn at work and stuff. <laughs> uh, ExpressVPN will allow you to do that. No, we do yeah. not use those. Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you uh, do. yeah, you do. Yeah, everybody yeah, uses do. one. I do. Yeah. I did. I well, don't watch porn at work. Ever? No. What, I mean, what about when you're cellular phones? For what about when you're deployed? Do, oh, well, deployed. Yeah, but you long. can't use a nipper or a zipper line to look at porn. But with this, you can. No. Yeah. A what line? Nipper. A nipper. A What's nipper that? or a zipper? N I P R and S I P R. They're open and closed like security networks. Yeah. Asian? Oh, man. Yeah. No, it's the goddamn DOD. What are you talking about? Well, oh, well, I heard nipper. Yeah, we heard nipper. So uh, I wasn't real sure where you were going with that, Dan. Okay. Just nope. making sure we're not having any racism on this show. No, I would have said, no, I would have said, Ch- I would have said Chinese or anyways. Oh, uh, okay. There, there was is. this account called uh, Bachman for America making fun of Michelle Bachman and how stupid she was during the 2012 and 2016 presidential elections. And it was so goddamn funny. It was just like a caricature of how dumb Michelle Bachman is. Yeah. And they, they just made, like, every time she referred to Asians, she said Chineseers. 
Really? So fucking funny. For those I about it, to Bach, we salute you. <laughs> um, um, nope. Nope. Okay. Another I think uh, her eyes at some point got so wide that she just passed away. She might be. R. Took R. in too Bachman. much light and brain melted. Yeah. Have you seen? She's got the craziest crazy eyes. She needed those Felix Grays. Uh, and if you're wearing your Felix Grays for your screens, protect it with expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Seamless app runs on the back of your laptop, iPhone, smartphone, dumb phone. Hard top. Uh, mm. Etch a sketch. You name it, it runs in the back of it, and you can watch porn all day and protect all your Ooh, passwords, I bank codes. Etch a sketch porn now. Etch a sketch porn. Uh, that's what I'm into. Baby, draw me something. <laughs> I gotta That'd be get so up. funny to see. Yeah. It'd be uh, the anticipation of it I coming. I know. Like, to... what's gonna happen next? <laughs> <laughs> that's the tantric really sex version of dick. pornography. Yeah. It takes six hours to draw the fucking picture. Oh, draw me a Just titty. Edging, that's edging what, the whole time. That's what stings yes. into. Sting. I would have had sex for 13 hours. Well, you did yeah. it wrong, dummy. doesn't take the that long. He's right. She wasn't into it. Yeah. Glory. Wow. She didn't want that, I promise. No I one guarantee wants she that. didn't. No. Unless you're on fucking drugs. Whoever she was having sex with. I don't think with, I would ever brag, brag about that. Oh, it's, it's one woman, right? Isn't it the blonde woman? Fuck's her name. Who, Sting? What, what? Yeah, it's he's Sting he and has, Trudy. That's it. Trudy Styler. Yeah, oh, nailed it. I pulled that out of the fucking air. Well, yeah. I've partied with Sting and Trudy. It didn't sound right. But. Go to expressvpn.com and sound right. dot <laughs> uh. com forward slash drinking bros today. Seven dollars a month, Jesse. That's not bad for what? For Panda, 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 Panda. That's um, fucking great. That's the uh, promo code drinking bros. That'll get you if you sign up for a year, you get three months for free. Yeah, seven bucks a month. That's it. Yep. Fuck you. Seventy bucks a year. Nope, sixty three. <laughs> Nailed it. Boom. We're doing math. Math. <laughs> math. Science. Words. Next up, scientists discover mankind's belief in evil caused by disease. Apparently, the belief in evil came uh, about as a way for ancient cultures to explain diseases they didn't understand. Right. So the concept of uh, evil. So where, where you see uh, uh, like mythology grow faster, apparently about the creation of the universe and evil versus good versus evil and all that stuff. They found uh, the scientists from uh, University of Melbourne found a correlation between those rises, like really fast rises and that, that kind of belief system and uh, disease that was more prevalent there or natural disasters, those two things. So it, based on the writing samples and all that stuff and then this other stuff, they think that all this like religion and all this stuff came from uh, people who couldn't understand why volcanoes were happening well, or the plague or whatever the fuck. It makes sense. <clears throat> you can even put that in today's terms, right? It, like Trump, Trump supporters, everybody who hates him, hates him. It's, it's, a mat- it's automatically your evil, right? Because mm-hmm. you don't understand it and, and it doesn't line up with your beliefs. Yeah. I think that goes on in every facet of life. This isn't that shocking to me because mm-hmm. that's your first reaction to everything, right? If you don't understand it, it's bad or it's evil or... You don't actually sit and think about it and try to have a, an open conversation. Yeah. Well, I mean, part of it is life is overwhelming sometimes. Heavy is the head that weighs a crown. Sorry. Man, play the uh, Donnie Darko theme underneath that. Yeah. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. Anthony. Nobody knows the words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we only know the it's a Halloween movie. Donnie Darko is a good fucking movie to watch on Halloween, by the way. Uh, that is a good ah, one. It is. Uh, at any rate, yeah, this doesn't surprise me either. I mean, that's that's kind of the way it is. Life is overwhelming. People don't have time to to think through things, or they're too stupid to do that. So it's easy to say, oh. I don't understand that. That must have been God, or that must have been this. Yeah. Or they, that person must be evil because they believe this thing. No, unpack why, and it usually will make sense. That's actually what the book, uh, the series Ender's Game is about, that sci-fi series that was big a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, he wrote the first book so he could write the second one. The second one's called Speaker for the Dead, and the whole point of it is that he actually interacts with the alien race that they were in battle with for all that time and realized they didn't understand the damage they were doing and all this blah, blah, blah. The point is... It's a metaphor for, uh, like, warring cultures. Like, well, we just want this. Well, we just want this. And you don't understand why. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Tiffany last night. You didn't understand why they were out of uh, Jose Cuervo. No, I didn't. Patron. And you called the bartender evil. I did. Yeah. You said you must be, it just must be forces evil. of evil. At work I, didn't want, I didn't want to even try to understand it. Yeah, no. you're just like, your at mind all. just, like, shut down. I know. <laughs> That's <what laughs> like, my world stops. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible. 
<laughs> I'm like, why have you forsaken me? Ignorance? Why not? I'm a goddamn <laughs> eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my fucking boots. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you said that a lot last night. Yeah, yeah. you did. So you, you've been saying it a lot more lately, actually. Yeah. It's getting weird yeah. that you're saying that a lot. Yeah. Do well, you know who I am? That's what happens when you you're understand. super cool and you do, you super do the awesome. You <laughs> podcast. <laughs> and all of a sudden you think you're something special. Right? You're global now. You're global. Uh, next up, speaking of things that aren't global, Twitter has decided to ban all political ads for the 2020 campaign. Look, this is a, a shocking one to me. Twitter's not the greatest place to do paid advertisements anyways. No, it's not. It's uh, you the worst, actually. take a peek at their quarterly stocks <coughs> on that one. Um, but uh, They've never found reports. a way to monetize Twitter. No, um, because it's a hellhole. And it's, people yep. go there to rage. Mm -hmm. They leave, and they don't want to watch shit or buy shit. They just want to go and scream at each other. Yeah, but it's still or, or a good organic <clears throat> political tool. Um, and you can use it to, to do audience development and Typically in marketing, what you want to do is you want to make your uh, audience agnostic of channel, agnostic of platform, which means I want to get emails or whatever or phone numbers or something like that. Sure. I want to get to that. So if I can use Twitter to send somebody to a website that collects that data, then I'm good. I can use Twitter that way. That's a good way to use paid advertising. But as far as a direct return on investment, you're never going to see it. The point of this is, is this is a political campaign, right? It's totally different. And the the organization that uses this the most is the Trump organization. So a lot of people are saying that the reason Twitter is banning political ads is sp specifically For to target Trump him. And his party. So and I think they're right. Like Twitter is up. what got Trump elected in 2016. Twitter and Reddit, actually. Mm -hmm. Like the, the Donald... Reddit board right. was like one of the best traffickers of information for him, and Twitter was probably ahead of that, actually. So I, a lot of people feel like this is them targeting him specifically. What do you think about that? Well, it always is. Because the Democrats yeah. kind of like don't chalking it up use to evil. Twitter it's for like, this kind of stuff. I, it's I, always I, against Trump. It's always, always against Trump. And I, and I think, the yeah. demo, So the, the demographic for this, by the way, Twitter, the, the main person that engages in political speech on Twitter, 45 to 65-year-old white people. Mostly conservative. Correct. Say, Trump followers. That engages yeah. on Twitter? Yeah. That really? engages in political discourse. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, <clears throat> I think in 2024, after he leaves, <laughs> then they'll open it back up for this shit again. Oh, yeah. But right now, I think they're trying everything they can. I know Google and Facebook are working on shit right now. Saying, and so yeah. is Twitter. And it's like, you know, YouTube. Now, I, to me, YouTube would be a bad domino to fall. Because he does all of his rallies live on YouTube. They gain massive numbers every time he's on. And uh, if that one went down, I think that would be tough. But uh, it's not surprising. What are you going to do, though, if it doesn't work? Uh, well, one, it's not going to work. Um, the, uh, he, he, he mishandled the Syria situation pretty badly. With the Kurds? Yeah. yeah. Um, but it didn't seem to stick like nothing ever does. Because he killed... El Fucking Baghdadi, dude. Well, he didn't kill anybody. He I was. Know, I, I understand. Eating but, a cheeseburger in his. But office, that's probably. look. The president Fair. gets the credit for everything. So, if you get no, you you get the credit and the blame, I suppose. But, um, I I thought it was really uh, poor taste the way Obama took credit for the Bin Laden raid. Yeah. He was like, I mean, and and the pundits were like, it's uh, it's it's it was a daring raid. Like he could have really fucking blah blah blah. Like no, not really. That happened in. Uh, uh, March or May, May of twenty eleven. Eleven, right? yeah. Like he wasn't running for office again. No. Um, the, or, the other part about he, it. I'm sorry, he was running for office, but he that the campaign had not even started yet. Like he wasn't mid campaign. Trump did this in the middle of yeah. uh, like an impeachment inquiry and in the middle of his actual campaign to run for president again. Yeah. So I think uh, this one's probably a little bit more significant, but that doesn't mean either one of them deserve any credit. Anybody in that position would have done this. Like, crossing the Pakistan border was a big deal. Mm -hmm. But fuck them. We've been fucking with Pakistan for a year. Half of the ISI, or for years, half of the ISI, which is their internal security organization, is Al-Qaeda. They directed the Mumbai attacks mm -hmm. back in the day. We have evidence of that happening. They're basically Saudi Arabia all over again. Like, they're the worst ally on Earth. They're just shitbags, mm -hmm. their entire government. So... I don't think it was brave on either one of their parts. They did what fucking presidents do. They fucking they had clapped their hands like and when George... actual operators went and fucked people up. Yeah. yeah, It's like when George W. was like lauded for the, how he handled 9-11. It's like 
he was just in office when it happened. It could have been yeah, what did they do? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. what was he going to do? Crumble into a corner? Off? Yeah. Into his own face? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird. You just that? didn't do that, basically. And so yeah. you're a hero. <laughs> Does your husband have a cool guy job where he gets to do shit like this? Mm hmm. That's cool. Yeah, he leaves in June. Okay. He's got a sweet ass mustache right now, too. And yeah, they get to. For Movember. Do you get to hear it? You get to hear all about it, right? When he comes ah, down. sometimes. I mean, Does he keep it from you? No, but does it, I mean, of course, there's gonna be things that he cannot say, like specifics he can't talk about, or there's other times, you know. It's so cool. So <laughs> cool, right? It is cool. Or like take me into there's the nothing red room that he can't tell me. tell me. Yeah. But no, no. I mean, I understand the, the red rest room? of it. Is that like well, Playboy, Playboy joking, TV swing? But red room. Yeah, it's like been a there. spin on like a sipper room, but a sex room. I know together. what it is. Okay, just making yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I understand what he does, and there's a lot of times I'll know it. And this next trip he's going on, you know, they purposely are removing certain personnel out of Afghanistan, mm-hmm. right? Just like your normal conventional forces, and they're only really putting in like Rangers, SF, SEALs, because they want to just get shit done, right? And they're having them go into pretty awesome dangerous region and just fuck shit up shit yeah yeah so he's excited because that's what like what his job do, yeah. is yeah. is what he does and i think it'll be like one of his last hurrahs and so you know there's there's now there's prepping ready to go as a wife are you excited uh, i try not to think about it as much a little bit like i know he's amazing at his job because he's had six combat deployments just in afghanistan alone he has over 60 months over there so i know he's fucking good and I know he knows what he's doing. He's extremely competent. It's just the, uh, I never t- like to think of the what if factor. Yeah. Just like I said before on, I think one of these podcasts, like I would hate that if he ever, and I don't like speaking those words anyway, but if anything did happen to him, cause I would dedicate my life to hunt down those motherfuckers mm-hmm. who did anything to them. Yeah. And I would go take it on their <laughs> ass. You know what I mean? Just kill them as slowly as I can live out there. I mean, I could survive. So I'm good on that. With yeah, that, really yeah. could. With that eagle costume, you could make it pretty I much. I will blend any, the fuck in. Any environment. Can you imagine her? She's perched up on top of a building. <laughs> and everybody's like, is that a squatty boy? Is that a, is that a person? What the fuck is going on up there? She's crazy. The worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah you could have won the like, Oscar for Birdman. You're, you're just speaking. You're just speaking. It was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm an eagle. Just a regular eagle. Just a regular it's eagle. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Any thoughts of you jumping in that costume later? Ooh, I could civilian. But not military. Oh, you can't? Not military. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'll be able to get away with that as much. I'll probably get in trouble. But civilian, totally all day long. All right. We should yeah. get you an eagle wink suit made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome. Could, you could. It's <laughs> a lot of uh, Like movie uh, quality. Uh, movie quality. <laughs> yeah. We'll get you movie quality. A little squirrel suit. Real uh, feathers. The, yeah, 100% real feathers. Next up, these fast food chains get an F for antibiotics used in beef supply. The list includes Burger King. Ah, not the king. Domino's, Pizza Hut, Sonic, Applebee's, Olive Garden. I know that one hurts. That one hurts deep inside. Buffalo Wild Wings. Come on. That one also Little hurts. Little Caesars wow. is wait, my who, fucking who, fave, who dude. Who gets beef from Buffalo Wild Wings anyways? You know, yeah, I'm going to read through the rest of this list real quick here because there's one that Arby's, uh, Dairy Queen, Jay and the Jiz, Jiznack and the Beezy, Jack in the Box, Chili's, love. Where those sizzling fajitas, brother. <laughs> uh, I hop and Pan Express. Now, Pan Express, I don't get down on. I'm sorry, Jesse. Uh, uh, again, who, costume, who gets uh, beef at Panda Express? No, oh, you have to be like, like orange, orange beef cat. and a, yeah. uh, orange or, chicken. No, you have Bichon beef. Or a beef broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> Korean beef? <laughs> Do you, <laughs> you guys a, want beef? I was perfect with your there's costume, a, uh, too. There's a fucking there's comedian, sure Pablo something. God, I can't remember his name. Picasso? No, but he does a joke where he's like, uh, he's doing a Jackie Chan impression, and he goes, <laughs> uh, knock, knock, who's there? Beef who? Beef who? Beef broccoli. And oh the, yeah, it's it's the weirdest shit. Go look it up on YouTube. It's funny as shit. You'll laugh. It's just the delivery of it. Is that it. the trailer guy that does the yes. trailer? Yes, Pablo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember uh, his <sighs> fucking name. Pablo, the only restaurant Pablo I, Francisco. That's, that's it. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the He's only awesome. restaurant I disagree with is IHOP on this list. Uh, well, not disagree with the only one that deserves it. I hate IHOP more than life itself. And we had a fucking awful meal at IHOP. You and I. Oh um, yeah, it was God terrible. It, I was man. so mad. Same. Do you remember when it they was were like two o'clock the in the goddamn morning, and yeah. there were six thousand people? It was in Houston or Dallas. Dallas, uh, one of the two. Yeah. Either way, I, every, I was so fucking mad. Every but you time, were like, like we sat there drunk? and stared at our food six feet away from us for ten minutes. Yep. And we're both tired. Oh, we just something. gotten off a plane. We did. Like, hey, can you get us our food? Like, oh, I'm not the server. 
And she walked away. I'm like, you fucking Ooh. bitch. Finally, I would have gone I'll burn it. this goddamn place go to the grab ground. It? Yeah. No. You know me. This is why you go to Waffle House. This is like, yeah, mm. exactly. All this, Waffle, House. Waffle House was sold out. So like it was packed what? and there was a there line people, of like. There were people there sitting out. Hour and it was 10 two o'clock like, in the goddamn the morning and there yeah. were people sitting outside of the Waffle House waiting to get in. That's because the rush like, hour. Yeah. 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 No, that's exactly wild. what it is. Yeah. It was terrible. It was an hour and 10 minute wait. So we went to, to IHOP and uh, yeah, man, they're they're you got for victimized. You know who else is on this list, by the way, is Starbucks. Are they really? You know who's not? But putting Griffin antibiotics Coffee. in their shit is Black Rifle Coffee. Goddamn right. Uh, which is better than Starbucks. And Go to BlackRifleCoffee.com. Uh, Drinking Bros 20 for yeah. 20% off uh, of there. Uh, the ones that received an A or an A- minus are surprising. Chipotle, because they got busted a while wow. ago. Yeah. Remember everybody was diarrhea all over the place? Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pane- Panera Bread, Panisi, huh? I love I'm Panera. I'm surprised about that. I, I do there. too, but it doesn't feel like there isn't antibiotics in it, if that makes sense. <laughs> It seems like, like the kind it, of place that would give extra and like they're yeah. they don't even do it where they get the meat they do it in the store yeah like yeah. as they're cooking like hey you got them needles and they're shooting antibiotics no, into the floor. Does, we they never make it that. look so Who's fresh we? I oh you worked there. at Panera oh yeah. really mm-hmm. did you, did you sign an NDA Three, or can you tell us four some stuff years. <laughs> do they make low level employees of Panera <laughs> sign NDAs that would be no they do not if I signed one I would be a little bit concerned. Another place yeah. is so good, though. McDonald's and Subway both got a C, so they're right in the middle. I can see that. Uh, Bert Koontz will be happy about that. He's the biggest McDonald's fan in the history of mankind. Who isn't? I love McDonald's. Who isn't? I love McDonald's. Their fries are good. I love most of these restaurants that were listed, and it's not going to stop me from eating them and enjoying my life. Yeah, we're a Domino's family through and through. Oh, oh right. yes. Man, really? I know. Dom- I love Domino's. I, I haven't eaten. And their garlicky th- crust. Is yeah, it, wait, is mouth. it good? Because I haven't eaten Domino's since I was a child. Yeah, they changed the crust, man. They changed the, the game. Are you serious? I'm, I'm 100% serious. They've really revamped. Yeah. Dan, you need to give them a second chance. You're just using my <laughs> ignorance to make your pitch because you're a Domino's fan. No, that's what no. they keep saying. This is confirmation. So every year they have to like... We've got a new Oh, we made look. different boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Pizza Hut is coming out with a round box now? Yes. You know, but they were fixing potholes, too. Domino's was fixing potholes they in the neighborhood. Yeah. Is it Pizza Hut that's doing the round box? I think so, yeah. Pizza Hut it's has one a Cheez-It pizza coming out. Oh, we saw God. that on TV Which I the love Cheez-It, so part of me But it's like, like a giant looks, Cheez-It. <laughs> there's <laughs> no <laughs> way. And I kind of want to eat it. <laughs> I, I want to try it, too, but there's, no, it, there's no way that it's going to be It's not going to be good, but I want to try it. There's no way. What if it ruins Cheez-Its for you? Well, then it ruins Cheez-Its. You, you'll die yeah. I tried without it. Cheez-Its. You'll die without Cheez-Its. Uh, uh, last but not least, Barstool president and mm. founder Dave Portnoy, El Presidente, yeah. is going hard after Deadspin, which is a liberal sports site. Um, They're kind of like the anti-Barstool, I, I hate guess. Deadspin. Really? I've always hated Deadspin. Everybody so hates Deadspin, shit. including the people that work there, which yeah. is why they all just got fired. Exactly. Um, they, they, they put out a, an email blast the other day that said, hey, none of you guys are to talk politics uh, ever again, we're a sports site. We're going <laughs> to stick to sports, blah, blah, blah. But meanwhile, they criticize Barstool and Portnoy specifically for talking about politics all the time. Well, look, know your audience. If, yeah. they, if they want it, great. If not, don't. Like, um, who cares? Like, ESPN got criticized for this, for going you know, heavy after Trump and Kaepernick and all this other shit. Yeah. And then they put a kibosh on that. Jameel Hill got fired. Which is interesting because they brought back uh, Homeboy, their super liberal uh, – God, what's his name? Oh, he, yeah. He was on Keith. MSNBC. Keith Olbermann, yeah. yes. They brought him back, but he doesn't say shit about Does politics Does not say anymore. one word yeah, about politics because he needs a job. Yeah. He was fired um, from every news outlet. So Portnoy said, uh, so n- by now everybody knows that Deadspin is imploded. By the way, they fired like half their staff, mm-hmm. including their deputy editor. Uh, 90% of the staff has either been fired or quit. It's over. Uh, they are dead. I have destroyed them just like I've destroyed every single enemy who has ever dared cross my path. <laughs> it's hilarious. Dude. I love that. He's like, what a he's, funny. he's a Trump fan. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. You can tell by the way he talks. So like, that, does, the, that sounds like it's basically the same guy. So is everybody. I I, everybody who listens to that site. So, like, he doesn't give a <laughs> shit about what he talks about. And that's the way it should be. It, look, liberals don't like sports. So, sorry, Deadspin. Yeah. Well, you're going to fucking lose. So, that Deadspin that's a said. really broad statement. Deadspin yeah. said this about Barstool. They, were, they said Barstool was built on, quote unquote, openly and aggressively misogynistic and otherwise offensive blog posts. Yeah, you're damn right. It's called comedy. Yeah. Stupid oh, motherfucker. Look it up. <laughs> like Sorry, ha- yeah. half of the fucking employees at Barstool, if you actually look at all the pictures they post on social media all the time, are fucking women. One of their most successful shows are two fucking young women. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. It's They're, crazy. It's, they, it's comedy. It's a goddamn comedy site. What the fuck are you talking about? I, I love know. Barstool. Dave Chappelle built his career on misogynistic and racist comedy. Like, 
but comedy. It's comedy. The operative uh, words. Yeah, exactly. Comedy. Comedy. But if people are offended bitch. by it, then that's when they spin it around. The funniest yeah. part about this whole thing is Portnoy offered the deputy uh, editor that just got fired a job. Did he really? 100K a year, full benefits to be his personal butler. <laughs> <laughs> and he would do it God. too. He would do it. He doesn't like, give a shit. That's fucking funny. To so have that great. kind of money and be that I fucked know. up. That, I this love is it. why I'm so afraid of Jared getting rich. And Jared's going to get rich because of Black Rifle. At some right. point, he yeah. will be independently wealthy, like you know, people are independently and all wealthy. And every one of us is going to get We're gonna a couple suffer donkeys in our fucking backyard. Yeah. 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 He, he will wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning one day and be like, you know what? Donkeys are cheap. I'm just yeah. gonna send it Everybody's to my getting a donkey for Christmas, yeah. Christmas this year. Christmas, Whether they yeah. want it or not. And you're like, dude, now whatever. I'm responsible for this fucking donkey. You yeah. can't get rid of it because they'll arrest you for endangering an exactly. animal. Exactly. Yeah. You need to like deal with the donkey. Yeah. That's deal. the kind of guy Jared is. He will give you a chore to do for a gift. Yeah. I can see that. Like so here, just, you can return it. It's not a big deal. Like, no, it's a living creature, fuck face. I can't just drop this off in the middle of the forest. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Dylan Douglas. Since it is Halloween tonight, we'll be drinking in the neighborhood. Behind the kids' backs, but uh, I'll be drinking in style. Sent in the clapping mug from uh, 9 20, 2019. I want to give you a shout out, Dylan, because we were out of town when this came into the office. Mm-hmm. Know that I am drinking out of it tonight, and I will and that be you're loved. the most champion parent in the world, and you are loved. I really, really appreciate this. Uh, he says, I hope you got it in time for the clapping. We did, but we were actually with Alex Jones that night. Um, so Had to skip it. Yeah, uh, and then Drinking Bro of the Week. We typically don't do that on the new show. We usually kick it over to Topless Stacy, but we're not going to do that tonight. Um, Mike Moose, uh, if you follow our Instagram on uh, Drinking Bros podcast or our Facebook page, uh, D'Anthony and I posted uh, a photo where we went to go see him in the hospital uh, during our live show in Orlando. Uh, I got some sad news that he was moved into hospice and... uh, might only have a couple days to live. One of the greatest people I got the pleasure of meeting, and I feel very fortunate that you wanted to spend uh, some time with us. And uh, sorry for everything that you're yeah, going through really good in your family. Yeah. So, uh, Mike, you were a great fucking guy, man. And he, uh, uh, <laughs> he has some great friends there too. Awesome, awesome people all the way around. His wife is great. Yep. We met his wife, and. Uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're lucky you, you asked us to spend um, some time with you. So, uh, fun show, kids. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah. Stay safe. Look out for razor blades at D'Anthony's house and his candy. I think he's just putting bullets in there, 50 cal bullets and in in full Stay Snickers. Away. Somebody sent me a picture. Somebody sent me a picture this morning, and it was a bowl of cigarettes with a lighter next to it. It said, one per kid I'm watching oh or something like that. <laughs> that's <I'm laughs> <watching>. good. <laughs> That's great. Uh, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Tiffany Hart, thanks again for being here. Yeah. Power Donkey, a.k.a. The Eagle. <laughs> yeah. Where's your Instagram? At The Real Tiffany Hart. At The Real Tiffany Hart. Mm-hmm. Is there a fake one out there? Yeah, there's a ton of fake ones uh, out there. Fuck. So I'm the real one, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Jesse Wiseman, at Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables. I am Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros. Fake News. Good Nights, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>